Uh, hi everyone, thank you very much. Thank you for your introduction. Uh, let's uh, jump into the, our project. I would like to show at the beginning of the, of the presentation, I would like to highlight who we are. Uh, in the middle, I would like to show you some kind of very exciting project what we have made in the past or we are working on it. And later, how we are working and uh, what we have created. We are 20 people working here in uh, Budapest and uh, San Francisco. We have more than 15 years of experience to creating 3D and VR uh, solutions for, for partners, mainly in the education and uh, entertainment and entertainment category where we are working. We have many partners whom we have worked in the, in the past years. One of our most exciting products is uh, Leo Trainer Code. It's an XR solution. We are working with VR headsets and AR headsets. I think you are probably familiar what the, the VR headsets are mean. You can see on the picture also and here in our project uh, roll-up that this is a head-mounted display where you have to wear, you have two controller and you can interact with this 3D space in a, in a, in a new environment. This is a very new technology because it's completely transformed the interaction between the human and the computer science. So this is uh, it's a, it's a very unique thing. Before we go to our projects, I would like to show you uh, a very new uh, kind of technology. Could you help me to run this video? May I ask you? Or here I have to? Sorry, there is a YouTube uh, video linked into this uh, project. I hope it will uh, run. If not, uh, I will, please, if you can, uh, click on the YouTube video link to, to run. So the, what I wanted to this, uh, tell you is, is the Z-Space. This is a completely new VR hardware. So here we don't have to wear a headset. We have an all-in-one PC with, with, uh, with a monitor. And we have to wear a special, uh, a special goggles. And we have a 3D magic pen. And the objects are coming out from the monitor and appearing between the user and the monitor. And uh, with this 3D stylus, you can interact with this space. This is a hardware solution which is available on the market, mainly in US and uh, uh, the Chinese market. No, it's uh, coming to Europe. And uh, we are working with this company uh, we have started five years ago, so we have a lot of experience and we have created dozens of products uh, who uh, can interact with this new technology. So if you would like to use this technology, please uh, contact us. Uh, and our present project, what we have uh, created, I wanted to highlight. The first one we started, this is called Brigozio. This is a VR application, a virtual tour into the Roman ages. Uh, we have, uh, you can discover and experience how the people are lived in that ages and uh, what they are did, what you can feel the objects, you can touch the objects, as I will show you. And the present object that we are working on that together with the museum, this museum is uh, called Balazza. Later I will show you more details about this project also. This is called Brigizio, and unfortunately if we cannot play this video, uh, this will be not good, but this is the situation, no problem. Uh, what we have created, this is a Roman house with, uh, with, uh, uh, with kitchen and with, with a standard house with a garden and a bakery. We have created um, uh, some kind of mini games uh, and in this case the user uh, can uh, touch and experience uh, how the, the, the things are worked at that age and also can play. So this is very important if we would like to let the visitors, the users, to, to make the education to them. And, and uh, uh, how does it look? Like, yes. Unfortunately, here is the video. OK, no problem. We go further. Our present project is called uh, Balazzo. We are working with this uh, Danube uh, archaeological uh, landscape project. And uh, what we have, uh, what we will be creating this project, uh, we will completely uh, reconstruct the, the Roman farm called Balazza, and he will build up uh, the complete garden with all of the buildings, and uh, it will be 
place where in a VR headset, anybody who, who will put in that can walk around, looking around, how they are lived, how the buildings, how the animals, how the things are, are worked at that age. We will uh, uh, reconstruct the, the main building, the villa, uh, and uh, we will focus on four rooms where the very famous mosaic floors will be reconstructed. And also very important that here we will be create uh, also mini games, so this is a more enthusiastic experience could be for the users, where we can uh, see how the, 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 sorry, what was that, Zofi? Could you have me the, the, what? The heating system, yes, the heating system will be reconstructed and explained to the users how does it work at that age. I think this is a very interesting thing. Uh, or goals, and this is very important, the three main most important things, what is, uh, or what we are focusing. Make it exciting, it ha the es essential that it has to be authentic and easy to use because it's, as I mentioned, it is a completely new method how we interact. Uh, exciting and engaging, yes. So as I uh, mentioned to you, there are some kind of mini games, so you can touch, you can interact with the objects, but uh, for example, you cannot do that at a museum, but in this case you can, you can pet the animals, you can eat the orange, you can bake a bread, how they have worked in, in the past year, in the past day, so, so this is a very exciting thing and uh, the visitors will remember definitely for this uh, uh, we are solution. Authentic. We are work in a very close relationship with our partners uh, to be authentic. Uh, for example, we are working with 3D scanning companies who are made the 3D scans, uh, scan data uh, from the uh, lights and for other objects. And uh, based on that information, we will make the reconstruction in a VR space. And the last is the easy to use. We believe that VR technology is not the privilege of the younger uh, generation. So it's very important at this uh, stage that we have 15 years of experience how to transform these solutions into the VR space. We don't have windows, we cannot touch it, we have two controllers. So this is completely new. And uh, we have some kind of very cool technology and toolkits what we have developed to make it more easy and more altruistic for uh, older generation or who are not so familiar with the VR headset. Uh, and in the, the center uh, picture you can see a mini map which is shown in the, in, in the VR space. So it's very easily anybody can navigate and uh, look through the world space uh, where they are and how, how does it uh, looks like. Uh, this is the three most important things what is uh, very important when we are working together uh, with our partners to make a uh, and twistic application. And what's next? What are our focus? And what I think you have to also make consideration. This is the platforms. So this is a very what we have created in Brigadier and Balazzo. These are local based solutions. So in, at the museums, they can put on the headsets and look through in the VR application. I think if you go further, it's very important to make it available for everybody, not just in the local museums. That's why we are. Uh, working with that companies, that software companies on the top. We are the most important players in the VR industry, global industry. And uh, here at the, at the bottom you can see the headsets, uh, the goggles. And the last one is the Z-Space solution, where you don't have to wear that uh, HMD device. You have a screen, but you can feel the VR and the objects are coming out. So this is also, I think, a very uh, unique thing that could be very interesting in a, in a museum-like situation. Thank you very much. Uh, here are the contact information. And uh, with my colleague, Jofia, we are here. So if you have any question after the session, please uh, come and let's talk. Thank, thank you very much.